it's funny how nobody's really talking about Ezra Miller. A lot of the big entertainment news sites are kind of just sweeping the constant stuff that's come out about Miller under the rug. And I wonder why that is. I'm sure if you think about it, you can figure it out. But it's the biggest train wreck that nobody's covering. YouTubers are covering it. Some websites are covering it. Newsweek has actually put out some some articles, but a lot of the bigger ones, they just don't want to talk about him. This came out the other day. Ezra Miller offers to knock out retail worker in resurface TikTok. So there's a video where this guy goes up and just wants to get a picture. And Ezra Miller's like, well, I could knock you out, huh? How about that? He's just an angry person. Ezra Miller's got massive anger problems. And I think that's that's pretty pretty clear by now. I think we all agree, right? I don't I don't think anyone's gonna debate that Ezra Miller doesn't have doesn't have massive anger problems. But it seems like WB doesn't seem to care. So the real reason I'm making this video is this report that's come out that reportedly WB is committed to releasing the Flash in theaters. Well, Ezra Miller's plans are to focus on healing. He's going to focus on healing. Hopefully, nothing else comes out between now and June 2023 when this movie comes out. I'm not going to forget the stuff that's happened. I have no plans to go see this movie. And like I said before, I don't care. I don't care how many times Michael Keaton's in it. He could drive he could drive the Batmobile to my house and offer to take me to the theaters in it, and I still wouldn't go. Well, maybe I would go and then not go into the movie theaters because it'd be pretty cool to ride in that Batmobile, but I'm not going to watch this movie. And what Warner Brothers is hoping is that maybe I'll forget about all this and that you'll forget about all this and go see it because they don't want to bite the bullet on this. Warner Brothers is in serious debt. And I originally thought this movie was going to go to HBO Max, but it now appears that that's not the case. They're saying that they're going to actually put this train wreck in theaters. What's really going to be interesting is if people will forget about all of this and go see the movie. Now, I promise you, when this movie comes out, I'm going to make a video recapping all of the shit that Ezra Miller has done over the past year. And... Considering that stuff like this is still coming out, I think more is going to come out over the next year on Miller. And Miller says, oh, I'm focused on healing. I highly doubt that that's going to go anywhere. What's healing me? Hanging out on your pot ranch? I think Miller's leading. (laughs) It kind of looks like Miller's leading a cult. To be honest, that's another video, but there's just so much crazy stuff coming out. And the reason that it really irritates me is because it's so hypocritical. If this had been anybody else, anybody else that didn't quite check check the boxes that Miller does, they'd have had their asses on the street months ago. A lot of these outlets like to talk about privilege. I give you the face of privilege. It's right here. So let's take a look at this. The Flash has had a complicated road towards the big screen. The movie, directed by the It Helmer, is slated to come out in June 2023, having been delayed from its original November 2022 date. But its release has been put into question in recent months due to its main star, Ezra Miller, being the subject of multiple troubling allegations. <laughs> you can say You can say that. Some pretty crazy stuff. The biggest thing was that woman that that he was captured choking last year. That video was her coming out and saying what she said about him. So here's the big report. Deadline reported in June 2022 that the studio was pondering several options for The Flash's fate, which including putting it in 
putting it out in theaters as planned without much promotion and dropping it on HBO Max, fronting a considerable loss. The article mentioned that Warner Brothers uh, Discovery CEO was expected to reach a decision soon, but we now have an update. In a report by Variety detailing accusation against Miller, the trade states that Warner Brothers intends to keep The Flash in its current 2023 release. It's unclear whether Miller will continue to perform as the Scarlet Speedster in future projects, but Warner Brothers is still committed to releasing its $200 million budgeted tentpole, The Flash, in theaters in June 2023. This previous echo. This echoes a previous report by Variety that WB wanted to move forward with the Pix theatrical run, and they talk about in here how he's in every scene and they can't replace him. It's like, well, you could eat the money and scrap the film. You could do that, or you could just reshoot it and bite the bullet that way as well. Even if he's in every scene, I mean, you can use deep fake technology to change his face, but they're not going to do it. This movie's up in the air. It could be a disaster and people could forget about it and they could bring him back. And and I want to be clear. There's speculation that he has been fired considering they canceled a show recently that he was supposed to be in. But here's what I think they're going to do, especially after reading this, where they're kind of doubling down on him. I think they're going to release this movie. And let's say that this movie is a gigantic hit. It brings a bunch of money. You know they're going to put Michael Keaton front and center in the marketing. He's going to be all over that trailer. They're going to try to put Ezra Miller as little as possible in the trailer. I promise you that's what's going to happen now because they have to shift that. Well, how about some nostalgia berries? You remember Michael Keaton as Batman, right? Here he is. Look, it's the Batmobile. The good one. Remember it? That's exactly what's going to happen with this film. And you're going to barely see Ezra Miller, and he'll be in a little bit because you can't not show him because the movie's called The Flash. But he'll probably be suited up in the majority of the scenes. You won't see his face, really. And uh, it'll probably be a hit doing that. And I think if Ezra Miller's plans to heal, because that's what it says right here, As for the actor, Variety Sources said Miller hopes to talk about the accusations against them in the future, but they are taking time for themselves to focus on their health and healing over the coming months. So here's what that PR machine can do. As the movie gets forward, as the movie gets closer and closer, if Ezra Miller can somehow stay out of trouble, There'll be a lot of talk about how rehab, probably. You can, I promise you, you'll hear a rehab, therapy, healing, all that good stuff. Uh, Warner Brothers is going to say, oh, Ezra Miller has changed. Ezra Miller is a new person. Come see The Flash. You'll see multiple outlets defend Ezra Miller. Say Ezra Miller is a clean-cut person now. Good, good dude. We love him. And they'll support the shit out of this movie. Because that's what the show media does. Uh, But Ezra Miller is never going to change. This shit goes back for years. I don't even know how old this video is. Taken in 2020. Like, and there's there's stuff that goes back further than that. It's not going to change. It's a walking train wreck. You think this is going to end anytime soon? I doubt it. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think about this hypocrisy? Because remember what they did to Depp. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed to that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.
Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.